welcome friends today we like to learn three different series in a c program that we achieve in a single program so let's start the series that i like to discuss are first one two four eight sixteen thirty two and so on in second series we generate 1 2 4 7 11 16 and so on and finally we generate the alternate 1 0 so we have to decide how we can design a program so that all three series can be achieved in a single program so now i am writing a program Since these series are infinite, we have to ask user to input n means number of terms to display. Now we have to perform a loop for n times. So I am writing integer i equal to 1, i less than equal to n i plus plus now we have to take one more variable say j which is initially 1 as in all the series the starting value is 1 now we have to print j now we have to apply some formula here so that we can design the required series. So see the formula now. For the first equation, the formula that I use is j is equal to j plus j or we can write j is equal to 2 into j. In terms of computation, this is more effective. Now the value of uh, n, let n is 5 and j is 1. So i traverse from 1 to 5. When i reaches to 6, the condition becomes false. First it print value of j which is 1. Now 1 plus 1 is 2. So the next value is 2. Next time 2 plus 2 is 4. Then 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. So we have achieved the desired series. Now apply this formula in the program. j is equal to j plus j. Now save the program somewhere. And compile it. We have to wait till compilation completes. Now we can execute it. Say we have entered 12. So it is displaying 12 terms. Now this one more to design this program but that is not efficient and that is by using power function which is defined in mad.h whenever we call a function computer takes some time so it is not advisable to use built-in functions and computer takes time to compute 2 to the power i and here we also need to change the data type since power function returns double value and we have to code it is percent %lf point zero is no decimal place now try to execute this code 
it also works. See 10 times. Now again I am changing it. I am changing it to integer. Then I have to make change here again and I am removing this line. Now for the next series, we have to change this formula. Next series is 1, 2, 4, 7, 11. Now here we apply formula j is equal to j plus i. Initially j is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, next time 2 plus 2 is 4, next time 4 plus 3 is 7, next time 7 plus 4 is 11. So apply this formula now j is equal to j plus i compile it and wait till compilation completes now execute it now is enter 10 it is showing 10 terms. Finally, we have to design this series 1010101010. The only thing we have to change is the formula j is equal to not j. This one is not. Now, when we give not 0, it gives 1. Similarly, not 1 gives 0. So the first value of j is 1, not 1 is 0. So the next value is 0. Now not 0 is 1, not 1 is 0, and not 0 is 1. So we are getting alternate 1, 0. Now apply this formula in the program. j is equal to not j. Compile. And when compilation completes, execute. Say number of terms 13. So we are getting alternate 1 0. Now there is exist one more technique to achieve this, but that is not efficient one. Here we can write i person 2. When we divide some number by 2, the remainder can be 0 or 1. But compute takes a lot of time to perform division and then displaying remainder. So this is not the correct way of designing the program. Mm -hmm. Now again execute it. says six terms. So we are getting one zero one zero one zero. So friends, we have learned how we can design these three series in C. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.